Beauty Talk. So today I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the new Nelt Cosmetics Sex Foil Liquid Highlighter. So I'm going to compare this Nelt highlighter versus my other highlighters. Um, the Patrick Ta Highlighting Mist, the Fenty Beauty Body Lava, love it, and the Huda Beauty Highlight. So I love all three of these highlighters and let's see how this one compares. I purchased this one in the shade Peaches and Cream. Where's the, there you go, Peaches and Cream. So this one was supposed to lean a little bit orange, like you can see from the box. Um, when I got it, I was kind of scared because not only is it a little too dark to be a, to be a proper highlighter for me, but I also feel like it's a little bit pinker than it is peach. So I get kind of scared because I mean, I have a Charlotte Tilbury uh, luminous blush already and I'm feeling kind of like a clown because this was $40, that one was $40, $80 for the same product. You'd really hate to see it. Anyway, let's see how uh, the swatch is. So I'm just gonna, so you can see how the color is. Oh, it's actually looking more peachy than what I was expecting. Um, just looking at it through the glass. It looks really good against my skin tone. So I have a bit of a um, light olive kind of tint to my skin. For me, I always look a little sick, um, especially in the winter. So I always prefer something that goes well with olive skin tones. I always like peach more than, um, more than I guess, orange, bronze. And with bronzers, it's always difficult to find my shade. So when I pick blushes and highlights, I always try to pick something that's got a little bit more warmth to it. It really kind of cancels out any green tint in my skin and it makes my skin look a little bit tanner. That's what I love about it. Okay, before we start, I'm gonna remind you guys, follow me on social media, hit like and subscribe on this video and hit the bell for notifications if you want more from Beauty Talk. I try to do a video every week. I try to do a new demo every week and I have a lot of skills to share because I am an editorial makeup artist. I'm also a head instructor at Hyper Real Academy. So if you guys are professional makeup artists or just doing it for fun, um, you can go on hyperrealpro.com. You can shop prestige skincare makeup. We carry Viseart, Murad, Caudalie, and a lot of other brands. Go use Kelly20, the code Kelly20 for 20% off your entire purchase. So that's a really great way to start your kit for a really good deal. And we're always adding new gadgets here and there. We have LED masks for um, home photo rejuvenation. And we also have a lot of esthetician devices that are safe for home use. And we also have cupping devices. Oh man, for athletes, you know, cupping is incredible. So you can get everything for 20% off just by using my code Kelly20 at checkout. And if you guys are interested in permanent makeup, if you want to make six figures, and I'm talking mid six figures, if you want to do permanent makeup, microblading, micro shading, nano blading, we have a brand new permanent makeup machine, German engineered, and it is incredible. It's such a game changer. You can learn the technique in as little as three days, and I'm telling you, three days, and you can go right into the field. The machine does all the work for you. So if you're interested in learning more about permanent makeup, lip shading, eyeliner, microblading, micro shading, nano blading, nano tinting, go on hyperrealacademy.com. And we are offering scholarships to students and we also have payment plan options. So go on hyperrealacademy.com, check it out. Okay, back to the review. And this is kind of drying up. Ooh, it's getting a little darker as it dries. Mm. So when you want to make your liquid highlighter pop out, what I like to do is I like to create shadows. So creating shadows, you're going to pull in all of the contours of your face. So you're pulling that color into the background and then your highlight is going to sit right on top. It's going to push everything into the foreground. So let's do this. We're going to be using our Anastasia cream contour palette. I'm going to be using the uh, dark shade mixed with the warm shade. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to be using a smaller brush to just kind of apply the product. I'm going to be using my Smith brush. This one is amazing for applying cream contour because it's dense. It's just so easy. I, I love it. 
I'm just gonna start doing a contour shape. Um, you don't want to make your contour sit too low because then it's not gonna read as a proper shadow. You also want to make sure that your contour is going to be a little bit higher than what your actual cheekbone is because that way you can create kind of like a lifted effect. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a bigger brush and I'm just blending it out. And I always want to try to blend it up instead of blend it down. And when you blend your contour, you want to blend it into your hairline. If you want your forehead to appear smaller, blend towards your temples and out into the hairline. And I kind of don't do this part. I know a lot of people, they, they want to shade here. I usually don't do that. The way that you get a good contour is by working with your own facial features and you don't copy another person's technique from start to finish. You always want to tailor every single thing you see. You always want to tailor it to fit your face. It's all custom work. There is no one size fits all, especially for contouring. You just pop a little dot of contour right under the lip. Make sure to feather it out. And I am doing my contour heavier today than I usually do. It's not gonna be perfect, I think, because I'm just, just winging it, whatever. I always tell my students, fix, don't fixate, because the more you overwork an area, the muddier it's going to be and the less flattering the results are going to be. And then you're going to blend your jawline contour into your neck. And then you can take your second angled brush, go into your bronzer shade, and you can start doing a bronzer. Starting from the hairline, you can just bronze your face that way. Okay, so I'm going to add more powder and I'm going to use my Pamagrass palette. I'm just going to start contouring my eye area and I'm going to focus on the inner corner more than the outer corner. Now the reason I uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want my inner corner highlight to really pop out. So I'm kind of tailoring my shadow placement based on where I want to highlight. So there is that little bit of planning involved because if you want your inner corner to be very very bold and prominent you can add more shadow. And the more shadow you add, the brighter the highlight is going to be. So it's not necessarily um, the product itself being brighter that makes the highlight brighter. You also have to create more shadows so you can really, you can really sell that illusion. So after I put down the shadow, I noticed it's a little bit cool tone for my liking. So I'm just gonna go into a really warm bronzer shade. This one, I never use it as a bronzer, I just use it as a eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use this orange color over the existing color, and that warms everything up right away. So now it's looking a little bit more like a smoky eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit of color underneath the lashes, the lower lashes, and using a bigger brush, you create a more diffused effect if you want to, and then you can darken anywhere you want to darken. And the last part we're going to contour is going to be the lips. So we're going to take the same contour shade from the Anastasia palette, trace the outside of the lip, starting from the corner. And trace it slightly above the cupid's bow, don't go too far above the cupid's bow. You don't want to give yourself a mustache. And this will make your lip look a lot bigger. You can add some more um, color. I'm using Tiger Lily Queen from Nude Sticks. You can add a little bit of color right at the center of the lip. And that instantly brings a lot more warmth. And it will ultimately be more flattering. I really should have done a lip scrub before this because it was kind of, mm, it's kind of crumbly. Now for the body contour, this part's a little tricky. I'm gonna do a different video to do that, but the gist of it is you kind of want to shade under the collarbone. You can kind of hunch over a little bit and kind of dip a little bit of shadow into the collarbone. So now we're gonna test out 
our brand new Melt Highlight. This is a really, really nice color. It's looking pretty good so far. I didn't add a blush because I figured this could just be the blush. What I really appreciate about this is that it's got a really nice peachy pink undertone and it's gonna instantly brighten up any complexion. So we're gonna go into this color with our Makeup Forever um, cream brush. So this brush is really good for any cream product, liquid products. I love it with cream blushes. And I also love this one with liquid highlights. So I'm just gonna do a, a gentle layer by layer. I'm gonna start at the center of the cheek and I'm gonna blend it upwards into the contour and over the cheekbones because it's going to highlight and accentuate the bone structure. So you wanna give it a chance to really pop over your cheekbones. I don't use a beauty blender for um, blush and highlight products because I think that the beauty blender, it's gonna absorb too much of the product and ultimately that creates more waste. Uh, if you pay a lot of money for your products, you kind of understand where I'm, where I'm getting at. So that's why I would always choose a smaller, denser stippling brush over a beauty blender. But it kind of replicates a beauty blender in the sense that you're bouncing the product up and down over the skin so you're not disturbing the layer underneath. You see how it just goes super smoothly over the base and nothing uh, really kind of disrupts the foundation or the contour underneath. It just kind of goes over it really nice and easy. Uh, the color, it also blended out to be a really flattering peachy pink shade. And right now, this is a really nice and natural blush color. If you want it to be more intense, which by all means, don't be natural, be glam if you wanna be glam, you can do another pump. And I already blended a full pump into both cheeks. So it's a lot of product right now, but it doesn't look or feel like a lot of product. So let's see, um, let's experiment by layering this. And I'm just gonna concentrate this color a little bit over the cheekbone. The product, it doesn't set too quickly, so you have room to work with it. And when you're applying it layer by layer, it's not lifting and it's not separating as you're applying. So that's what I'm loving about the product. You can go a little bit over your bridge of the nose if you want. I wouldn't recommend it if you have oily skin. I probably shouldn't have even done it myself. Um, this highlight is a little too dark for me to put over the bridge of my nose, so that's why I put a little bit here already regrettable decisions. And I'm going to, uh, should I do a little bit under the chin? Let me, I mean, let's see if it's too dark. Oh, nah, it's too dark. Ah, oh, well. But just looking at it from the cheeks, it looks really, really, really pretty. We're gonna take this color into the eye makeup. I'm gonna be using my Hakuhoto flat brush right here. And I'm just gonna dip this brush into the color. I'm gonna blend it out on the back of my hand first, and then I'm gonna take what remains. I'm just gonna go dip this in the inner corner to highlight. So let's see, this performs pretty well over powder products too, because we're not just going over cream contour, this time we're going over powder, going over eyeshadow. So I did two small layers, looking good. And when, when you wanna do a big, bright, shining highlight, you wanna do the highlight layer by layer, just like how you wanna do your eyeshadow layer by layer, because when you're applying the product in small, thin layers, it gives you more room to blend each layer out. If you apply a big, thick layer, not only is it not gonna look well blended, because, I mean, you don't have a chance to blend it, but you also have a higher chance of the product separating entirely. And then we're gonna take the same color, we're gonna go right into the middle of the lid, and we're gonna see how it goes. Wow. I barely put any on and it's already looking really bright. Okay, let's try a second layer. And when you're working with liquid highlight, um, the thinner the layer, the faster it's gonna set. Mmm, I like it. I really, really like this. Wow. Okay, let's just do a third layer because why not? And each layer that I put is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And the reason why I do this is because I'm trying to create this beam of light instead of a wash of light. So it's gonna be more concentrated and it's gonna look brighter. Wow. 
Okay, I'm really liking this. Oh my goodness. I love it. Yep, I'm definitely vibing with this color. It's so pretty over a smoky eye. It's gonna look so good. So now I'm gonna highlight the lip. Go right over the Cupid's bow, okay? And then we're gonna take the same color and we're gonna drop this right in the middle of the top and bottom lip. And only the middle, not the sides, not the ends. And finally, we're gonna be doing our body highlight. And I'm just gonna take a second to kind of compare this color with the other body highlights I have. So first one is the Huda Beauty highlight. And I love how this smells like coconut, such a mood. But my, um, my skin kind of disagrees with it sometimes because of the fragrance, it's kind of heavy. For this reason, I don't particularly love the formula. I like how bright it is, it's really cool. I'm gonna pair it with my Patrick Ta body spray. Now this one isn't even, um, it's a body oil. It's not even a cream or a highlight liquid. It's just the oil. So this one is the Patrick Ta body oil. And you see the finish is so different because the product is not um, the same as this. It's not a liquid highlight, it's a, it's a oil. Every product that I'm showing is nice in its own specific way. And the last one is the Fenty Body Lava, which is my number one favorite because it's kind of a hybrid between the liquid highlights and the body oil. It's just this really nice gel consistency. And it goes on super slick, just like an oil, but it doesn't really evaporate as quickly as an oil does. It also, uh, for that reason, it would also retain more color. I'm gonna be using this blush brush from Makeup Forever. And I'm gonna take some of that color and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the highest point of my collarbone and I'm just gonna gently brush on that color. And you can always you can always do this trick to really pop out your collarbone. Yeah, it looks kind of stupid, but it really helps because you see it just pops right out and you can find the highest point. You can highlight it real quick and that's it. And then if you wanna highlight the chest sternum area, just go right down the center and fluff it out at the edges. You can kind of dust it over wherever you want the highlight to be. For me, it's always and forever gonna be the abs. Okay, so finally, we're gonna go into the shoulders. Go right in the middle of the shoulder and just kind of swirl it out into a circle, just like how Rihanna did her Fenty Body Lava campaign. It's the exact same thing. Oh shit, I'm like cupping marks. Um, don't mind that. And you wanna, so when you're doing your shoulders, you wanna catch every angle of the shoulder because your shoulders are round. So you wanna highlight the entire shoulder area. So everywhere you turn, every angle will get a little bit of highlight. And then you blend it down your arm. And when I'm working editorial, I always want to put more highlight on the tip of the fingers and also some on the back of the hand, a little bit on the wrist. And the reason why is because when models are posing for magazines, Sometimes you even catch it in editorials. Their faces are super glossy, super dewy, but then their hands are just bland, just mm. So when your model is gonna be posing like this, if they're doing anything with their hands, you wanna make sure that the hands are also highlighted. So every photo shoot, everything's gonna look nice and uniform and your hands gonna match your face. Editorial trick right there. Wow, this looks really good. So this highlight looks really good on the body, uh, just as good on the body as it does on the face. I really love it so much. I don't think there's anything more I can do with this liquid highlight. So that's it. So this is the look. Okay, so that's it for today's review and today's look. I hope you guys like the quick tutorial that I showed you for the liquid highlight. And again, follow me on social media. You can like this video, it will help me a lot. This is a brand new channel. I would love all the support I can get. And if you have anything to comment down below, comment down below. Plug your channels down below if you also have a YouTube channel. I don't mind at all. So that's it for this week's beauty talk. I'm gonna join you for the next one. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.